Have a Supreme Court. Oh, yo, what are you doing? You're fucking wearing all Paris. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Ocean Clothing again. Uh, my voice is kind of gone because we all went out yesterday. And yeah, um, we're actually at 8k right now recording this video. And you, when we hit 10k, well, it should be now when you're watching this video, uh, this is released. And yeah, we're all going to do a Q&A at uh, 1k. And, uh, that never happened. That never happened. And then at 5k, well, me and James recorded it. And then Sunny, I don't know what happened, man. I don't know why you're putting pressure on me. <laughs> it was because like when Sonny was going to record, we had 6k and it was like, oh, it's a bit awkward, so we might as well wait for you know, okay. the next milestone yeah. for us. But yeah, uh, it's good now because James is here and you know, it's like, you know, he's never in these videos, like, you know, on the casting couch. So yeah, like a month ago, we asked you guys uh, some questions that you want to ask us and, you know, I compiled a list. And yeah, I think we should start answering some questions. Okay, so uh, Harry J. Smith 7, uh, he asked, how did you come up with the name Orchard Clothing and how do you all know each other? Yeah, so basically, um, I don't know if you guys, you guys like seen like the road sign, we've like taken a picture before mm -hmm. of Orchard Road. Yeah. Uh, basically, we lived there uh, last year uh, in Orchard Road and um, obviously we just took the name. I don't know why, I think we were trying to, fig yeah. trying to figure out some different names. Yeah, but, um, like, never yeah, me and, and we, yeah, me and Sonny we were trying to think of like some sick name yeah. for like, you know, like our brand or like you channels or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know when we said orchard like you know we lived on orchard road yeah orchard clothing i was like and we were thinking like is this actually like a good name or anything <laughs> but then like it kind of got like a bit catchy yeah it does sound a bit like catchy, now when like yeah. you know at supreme drops when people like you know say, shout orchard clothing to like james yeah. it's kind of like you know it sounds kind of catchy now for us at least but yeah um and how do we all know each other well i said before in some video but me and james we've known each other since like when we were very young yeah. I think it was around when we were six or seven. Six or seven? Oh, were you six, seven? I was like eight or nine or something. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was a neat back then, and it still is. I, I was. I still am. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, we know each other um, for a long time. And, you know, like he basically likes like fashion and stuff like me, uh, like since a long time. And then, like me and Sunny, we met at uni. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, last. We're house friends, <clears> yeah. yeah, we're second year, so like two years now. And, um, yeah, uh, when we go into Supreme, uh, and Paris and like, you know, streetwear stuff, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we started decided to make a channel and then, you know, since we were, because we can only, we're limited to make like, you know, review videos and like, you know, dropless reviews, like pickups mm -hmm. because we're in Portsmouth, but, um, we need someone to vlog and you know, James, yeah, I can't yeah, James, you exactly, know, yeah, so I yeah. just cover all the vlogs and, yeah, London, vlogs and stuff, yeah. some pickup videos for yeah. what I picked up and yeah, it's just kind of. Yeah, and that's why you know yeah. James came in. So yeah, that was a that was a pretty good move for mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Technically, I only like just met James like yeah. a, a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, this is his third time meeting third James. Time. Yeah. Third time, yeah. Meeting. It was first time was like a week ago or two yeah. weeks ago. Like, sign up, yeah, sign up, sign yeah, up. Like yeah. MJ sign up. Yeah, you know, oh, just like oh, seeing yeah. you know, both of you in it. Like, you know, you both thought like which yeah. who's taller and stuff. <laughs> that Sonny was taller. I thought we were both taller, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Same. Yeah. I thought you, you. I thought you were way taller than. I should. Yeah. Same. I thought I was way taller than Patrick. Okay. So, um, William Verb, he asked, "What piece do you regret buying the most?" So, sorry. So yeah, I remember it was start. It was I bought this in like SS sixteen. 16 yeah. Like I think it was like my first couple of weeks that I got into Supreme. Yeah. And then, you know, when I first saw like anything with like a Supreme burger in it, I thought it was best sick. Mm -hmm. Like I thought anything was just like best sick. Yeah. So I bought this, um, like I don't, I, I already forgot the name. It's like some, it's just a pink cap, like clap cap. Yeah, man. I just realized like the pattern is shit. I think I remember like I was on a field trip or something. And when you sent like this picture, I was like, mate, what are you doing? Like even back then, like, and like, you know, you've been like, oh my been, gosh, it's been at my house. For like the past year, it's just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. I like you know, just suddenly tried to like because this was the start. Suddenly tried to reset it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, like you know, nah. like hundred all. Like, back I tried to sell for like hundred. Back in the days, yeah. Yeah, now not hundred. No, no, yeah, no one even wants it for like ten pounds or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, if you want it, like, you know, just hit us up. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, um, I think in my on top of my head, uh, the piece that I regret buying the most. Uh, was a black OG trifle hoodie, uh, 2012 or 2011-ish, and I bought it on Depop, this is when I was started, uh, I bought it on Depop, and you know, the condition, like, it was like worn and stuff, he said like 7 out of 10, but when I got it, it was more like a 5 out of 10, you know, it's got like a hole or something, it's like really faded, the trifle at the back was like cracked and stuff, and because it was like an old older version, 
uh, it fit really big. So I bought a small, but it fit more like a large. And yeah, I kind of, you know, it's like kind of like a big L. Uh, like the thing was because uh, this was when I started uh, Palace, I, I I thought it was fake because on uh, the uh. on the wash tag, it didn't have like you know the Palace tag. Mm -hmm. But then I found out that the old mod uh, the old versions they didn't have like their own tag. They had like a China tag. Uh, oh, so it was real. So when I came, when I said that this was fake or something, uh, it wasn't fake. It wasn't. It was, it was real. Shit. So uh, you know, I, I paid like I can't remember. I think I paid like. 80, 90, yeah, 90 pounds. Something, something for it. Oh, and I was like, you know, I was like, oh no. But I remember then, like, you know, I think later on when I bought a Trifoc in store, you know, surprisingly, surprisingly, me and James went. Yeah, and you didn't get anything. And I uh, kind of felt bad for James and I just sold my one for like, I can't, 30, 40, 35, 35. Yeah, I sold, sold, I sold for 35 pounds. Yeah, still, yeah, still, yeah, still fits me a little bit small, but still, it's yeah. like. It's, it's kind of small on you, isn't it? Yeah, it's but a little like, bit small. Yeah. But. So, you know, that was pretty, that was pretty good. Oh yeah, and the piece I regret buying the most, I think, is the Palidas Indigo jersey that you actually sold to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was going to buy it, but then I, I didn't have enough money or something. It was something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then, Andrew, I think you bought four. No, yeah, I think uh, you bought four. Four, I think, I can't remember. I think we bought and two navy ones. I mean, two navy, two, two, white, ones. Yeah, two yeah, white ones. Yeah. And then I was begging Andrew, like, please, can you sell me an Indigo one? Yeah. And then now, now, I just like... Open my closet and I just I just see it and I just pretty much never wear it. No, no, like I like that uh, indigo jersey. Yeah, as well. I mean it, it's nice. So back, it's it's nice. nice. I actually not, like it. Yeah. It's, it's nice, but I don't wear it. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay. I can't just like wear it outside. I have to wear it while I'm playing sports or something. Yeah, yeah, and I'm really yeah. playing sports. Yeah. So I think I, I think that was the only item that I actually resold to you. Yeah, actually and, resold. Yeah. I paid that. Yeah, <laughs> and I actually kind of regret that. So like from now on, like you know. All of us, we don't actually like you know we don't yeah like even that hypers item we just give every, like each for retail, you know. So since, yeah. since that since that one I kind of felt bad. Yeah. So XX One Sage asked, what subjects are you all studying? So Sunny. So yeah, obviously I go to like Portsmouth Uni, mm -hmm. and I uh, study digital media. I do like um like all the computer like you know like coding and shit like designs and shit. That's why I, I do some of the uh, editing. Obviously later on if we have a website, we're gonna have a I'm 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 gonna make a yeah, website yeah. as well. So yeah. yeah, and uh, I study. You know, I go to the same uni, and that's where your housemates it. But I I study geology, and yeah, maybe I'm not too sure. I, I might do. I think I'm I'm doing a master's definitely, mm -hmm. but I don't actually know what I want to do in the future yet. So maybe you're not gonna. I might do masters. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do. I'm doing. Uh, hopefully geologist, but maybe like an engineering engineering geologist or something like that. Uh, that's what I, I don't even think I can find a job after that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see in the future. And yeah. uh, so, James, what are you saying? And yeah, for me, I used. Well, okay, I went. I did A levels. I since I'm like two years younger than both of you guys. Yeah. yeah. I did A levels. I did one year of A levels, and then I did one year of a course, vehicle technology, which is like mostly about <coughs> B tech. Shut up. Shut up. It's, it's mostly about like cars and stuff, so it's engines, there's also like physics aspect, there's electric, electrical aspects. Yeah, so it's basically all about cars, motor vehicles, and now after I passed that year, I, I'm like working, and it's not like directly related to my course right now, it's just working at like a retail company or something, but um, it's not directly related because I, don't, I didn't know if I wanted to do vehicle technology in the future, mm. but... Maybe I'll find a job then after this job, but right now I'm kind of free to do what I want. I will say sneaker design. Uh, he asked, what is your most grilled item? Uh, all three of you personally own. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll start off first. Um, I, uh, I, my most grilled item would be the Palace OG Trifog tee uh, in black, um, because like, you know, I think that was the piece that got me into Palace. Uh, you know, I, but when you get into Palace first, you just want a trifle, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that big trifle at the back. That you, that's that thing you're looking for. Yeah, 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 that's when, when, you, when you start uh, becoming a high beast, that's the thing that you want. Like, I think everyone wants that. If you, if you don't want that, I think you're kind of like lying. But yeah, that was the piece I wanted. And I remember like, you know, going on Supreme uh, Palace talk and it was listed for like £40. He just listed it like just now, like £40. And you know, there was only like loads of people saying PM me, PM me. I was like, bond this, I really want it. So I said like, yo, I'll pay 50 pounds all in, you know, just like 10 pounds off. And he was like, yeah, I'll accept that. And yeah, that's how I got my own. 
uh, yeah, so that was my most grilled item. So what about you? So my one is probably the trifecta as well, but it's the crew neck that Andrew got me. Oh yeah. Obviously, as Andrew said, mm. it, like obviously the only thing like you know if you're high beast and you're in the palace as well, yeah. you're gonna be wanting to get a trifecta. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all, all I wanted was a trifecta because obviously like, I've never had a trifecta before. Yeah, yeah. So and then when Andrew got me, I was like shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. no, that was a, you know me, that was a lucky me. drop, man. That was a lucky drop, install drop, and what are you? And for me, uh, it was, uh, it was Dirk, I think Comde Garçon Supreme Bogo hoodie. Because oh, yeah, I, you said Again, I think from like Supreme point of view, everyone wants a Bogo. Like, at some point in their lives, they want to own a Bogo. And this is not like an actual, like, original Bogo, like a box logo. It's kind of different. And not many people like this design, but I think it's like really unique. That's why I chose to keep the hoodie for myself and I think that's one of my most grilled items because it's it's a bogo and it's just like it's a bogo it, exactly no, it's no. just it's a bogo yeah, so. the, C, the CG bogo it actually looks way nicer in person than in pictures in pictures like uh, but in real life when I saw it I was like it's pretty nice still so I'm a skater boy uh, he asked uh, favourite brand so James what's your favourite brand? I think it'll have to, have to be Supreme because mm. they just offer a variety of items they do like so many collabs over one season that mm -hmm. no brand, no other brand does that many collabs with such high-end brands such as like Comedy Garçon Shirt or Lacoste or Stone Island. It's just like a wide range mm -hmm. of companies that they collab with and the products are always good. They're, they're always good quality and they're always really different in terms of design and stuff. So yeah, I have to say Supreme. Yeah, so Sunny, what's your favourite brand? Yeah, so my favourite brand would be Palace because uh, when I got into like the you know, like streetwear clothing stuff, it was Palace that I got into first, and I really like the clothing, and yeah, it's pretty much it. Yeah. And for me, um, I think, not gonna lie, it'll have to be Uniqlo. <laughs> because it's like, Uniqlo, I can just buy any clothes, and they're, they're like, you know, quality, they're fit, and like, their styles, they have so many styles. Uh, Uniqlo, you know, I can just like, you know, wear whatever I want, and yeah. I would, I would say, yeah, it used to be Ralph, for me. But you know, obviously I don't buy that too much. I see too many people wear it now, and yeah. So, uh, this is gonna be a heated question. Uh, Alfie underscore waters dot nine nine, he asked Palace or Supreme, and yeah, I think I'll go last, and you know, these two are gonna have an argument, uh, because I know James likes Supreme the most, and Sunny likes Palace the most. Uh, kind of awkward that you're wearing all Supreme. I'm um, Palace at the moment. You're wearing full yeah. Palace right now. Yeah, it's kind of contradicting what you're saying right now. Right? I like both brands, but I yeah. think just Supreme is just, yeah, why do you like Supreme? <laughs> <laughs> no, so why do you like Supreme? It's because they have like so many different kind of variety of clothes and also the collabor collaborations that they have with like Lacoste, Stone Island, just, it's just... I just think it's more people would want it and also there's more variety of clothes whereas Palace, they just put out, in my opinion, they just put out different trifold designs but it's just a still the same kind of mm. jackets yeah. and tees and then trousers and then... I, I just think Supreme, they have like different, like, more variety of clothing. Yeah. So they have different kinds of jackets, and then they have different kinds of tees, and I just think I, they have more variety, that's it, yeah. Okay, so what about you? Sorry. Well, I mean, Palace, like, obviously, you say about like the collab stuff is good, isn't it? But apart from the collab stuff, if you look at the, like, the own Supreme sort of, like, you know, items, and not all of them, like, I would actually wear, Ooh. but for Palace, for Palace, like quite a lot of them, I can actually like wear them to the street. You know? Oh, another one. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, Palace have some variety as well, but obviously Palace is new, mm -hmm. so they're not going to be as big. They're not going to offer as many stuff as uh, Supreme. But I can see them going, you know, pretty big, like in mm -hmm. future. And um, yeah, I'll be Palace. hoping to get sponsored. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, for me. Um, I would say Palace, well, I used to be like, you know, a proper Palace boy in it. Uh, Palace got me started into streetwear, but I think at the moment, man, I have to agree with James, I think it's Supreme, wow. Supreme, wow. man, because, yeah, uh, I mean, Palace, they, I don't think they're, lack, they're slacking, they're kind of slacking right now. They are sort of like last season. Yeah, yeah, they they're kind of slacking, and then um, Supreme, you know, like James said, you know, they're bringing like, you know, a lot of collabs different varieties, you know, like some like, you know, loud ideas such as the brick, uh, the bike that's coming out in the time of this video and like other stuff, but yeah. I, I don't know, for me, Supreme has such a strong foundation. Yeah, I like the, the I like the exclusivity of Supreme, yeah, I like, yeah. you know, and they're trying to keep their authenticity, but, you know, they're moving to Louis Vuitton, which is kind of like, you know, weird, a high-end brand, a streetwear brand, but 
I think, you know, Supreme's making moves in it. So, yeah, I think I'll have to say Supreme at the moment. And also some, like, like weird, not weird items, but, for example, when Palace released a Frisbee, not everyone got, like, really hyped about it. But yeah, when yeah. Supreme released a brick, yeah. it just sells out. Yeah. So it's just the difference in hype and also... Yeah, yeah. Mm. Having the How, supreme yeah, name the marketing on, on brands, yeah, marketing. Yeah. yeah, I think Supreme does the marketing like properly. Yeah, so yeah, you lose something. And wow. keeping all and keeping all their items exclusive as well. So James Dobb Picking, he asked uh, favorite Yeezys, and out of the three of us, I'm the only one who owns a pair of Yeezys. Uh, my favorite one has to be the one I own actually, which is the V2 Bread, because you know I don't really like like not gonna lie, Belugas. I like I like them a lot as well. I know they're James fit, I think maybe. The V2 favourites. Okay, yeah, bro. V2, yeah. Mm. Like, I think now more and more, I like the design more. Like, you know, the colour, you know, the red. I remember when we first saw it, innit? Yeah, we wanted to pick, it. Up, pick it out from the yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we saw it somewhere and I was like, yeah. we just saw it like a real yeah, no, bright orange Yeah, I was like, oh, that's clap. But now yeah. I'm like, that nah, is kind of nice. But I think for my style, I think the breads, uh, the ones I own, that's why I've kept it for myself. Uh, it's my favourite pair of Yeezys. But not going to lie, now, I don't actually want, I actually kind of regret owning a pair of Yeezys because so many people have it and you know, I just don't feel special anymore. <laughs> yeah. So what about you James? Uh, for me, I think it'll have to be the, sem the light grey 750s with the gum sole. I, I would, other people would disagree with me and have the white sole like the OG one, but I like the oh, gum yeah. sole better because no, at first I think I had the same reaction as you, I was like, oh light grey, it doesn't look that nice mm. initially but then when I think about it it's like it's so nice with denim like jeans or mm. whatever so I think in terms of 750s my favourite will have to be the light greys but for V2s I think it would be Belugas as well yeah. so what about V1s? Uh, oh V1s I think it, yeah I think it would just be Pirate Blacks just simple oh, yeah. what about you Sonny? but yeah personally I don't actually like Yeezys like, mm. I don't actually like the look of it I know like yeah. people are into it because of the hype yeah. it's kind of worth wearing it yeah. But if I'm gonna have to pick like you know the best looking or my yeah. favorite easy would be your breads. Yeah. Because obviously they're like low key, they're good yeah, looking. Yeah. yeah. Like and I would I would actually wear yeah. but only the breads. So. Yeah. Not gonna lie, uh, it is also because like you know because of the hype that got me Yeezys. But mm. I will have to like the shoe to actually buy it. And Yeezys not gonna lie for me. I don't know. It it looks like a nice shoe for 150 pounds. It looks pretty nice compared to like some other shoes for like 150 pounds. It's Louis underscore. I don't know if I said your name right. Um. How old are you? I'm 21. Sunny? I'm 20. And James? I'm 18. Yeah, you're the youngest, you're the freshest me. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you guys were probably surprised because like, Andrew, you would expect him to yeah, be the youngest you, guy. You yeah. expect me to be like 16 or something. So, Eddie underscore 666666. Now, I know you guys are all Chinese, but which city are you guys from? Uh, so, I'm from London, Southwest London, same as James. And yeah, what about you, Sonny? Which city are you from? So basically, I'm technically like an international student. I came over here like from year seven to do my like a GCSE A level. Obviously, I'm in here yeah. in Portsmouth now doing my uni. Yeah, you but born. I'm actually from Hong Kong. Yeah. Like I go back like, every holiday. You know, and I'm still I'm like an actual like Chinese like real. Yeah. real oh, OG real Chinese. Chinese. OG, yeah, OG, OG Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's actually Chinese, and you know. Uh, you know, your, your English is pretty good, isn't it, for like someone who... No, but I've been here for quite a while, so yeah, I yeah. technically have to be like... I, I was forced, like, yeah. everyone in school like, speaking yeah. English, I was yeah. like, forced to I mean, like, at the time of this video, like, Jay, uh, Sunny's actually going to go back to Hong Kong in two days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've actually slum. But, um, wow. I'm joking. Cohen Yu, I think that's how you say your name on school. Uh, maybe. Uh, no, probably not. Uh, leave a comment. So, uh, what got you guys into streetwear? So, I think this was like two, three years ago, uh, when my friend, he was talking about like, you know, oh yeah, who's like, you know, well, these guys wearing like palace singing, they're so sick. I was like, what's palace? And then he showed me a picture, I was like, like in my head, I was like, that's like, you know, kind of like, you know, nice. But um, I didn't think much of it afterwards. And then I was watching, you know, a complex documentary, I think, uh, Underground <laughs> Economy of uh, Supreme. Supreme yeah. And then I was just watching it because I knew what Supreme was, but not really into it. And I was just watching it, so I knew it was streetwear. So I was watching it, you know, Emily Oba got me, you know, keep, kept on watching it. So, um, you know, I watched it and uh, if you know Rax, uh, it's Rax, that guy. Uh, he was wearing the Palidas um, black long sleeve with the stripes on the sides. And I was like, oh, I was like, you know, that brand is familiar. And then I talked to his palace and I kind of wanted it. So I went online and started searching, like, you know, where to buy palace. And everywhere, back, even back then, every, every like, most... Most items were sold out on every website. I think everyone, everything sold out. 
uh, and I really wanted it and then you know that's how it kind of like led me on so I think Palace started me to get into streetwear so yeah what about you guys? Um, for me it was you who get, got me into streetwear because I remember SS16 you kind of we went to a skate shop in Kingston yeah. and then you were asking oh do you guys stop Palace and they said no yeah. it was only like it's most it's, it's kind of funny how thinking like you know asking like a normal shop do yeah you, do you, you stop Palace, Palace? exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I remember they, them saying, oh, it's more like Supreme now, it's more exclusive mm. to the actual shop. Mm. And then we were searching out oh, where the actual shop is, it was in central London. I remember it's around, it was around 4pm and you're like, yo, James, let's just head to the store like, right now. And I, I, didn't, I, did, I didn't know if you were serious or not, but we just like, took train out. And then that was the first time I went to a palace store on that day. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. And yeah, then I just, it just kind of gradually built, built up. Yeah, that was going to, yeah. Got to the palace. I got into palace first, like Andrew, and then... Yeah. Supreme. I, I found out Supreme was like a really, a really similar brand. Yeah. And so then I went to Supreme again, like, as well. Mm. And that's how it grew. So what about you, Sunny? Yeah, I bought, um, for me, I've always like followed like Hypebeats since like ages ago. Mm. And sometimes they do like, you know, like, articles about Supreme. I've always, I, I knew, sort of, I had an idea about what Supreme was, but mm. I thought it was just like a clothing brand and stuff. But then actually Andrew got me into um, like Supreme or uh, streetwear clothing stuff as well. Um, like he's always like come in my room and be like yeah have you seen this have you seen that oh shit oh you try for it <laughs> I was like oh shit and then I was like I looked into it as well yeah. I was like oh shit it does look pretty good yeah. so I, I started to search up um, like, you know, like Palace they always I remember like back then we were trying to go for like Supreme stuff but that, that was never going to happen yeah oh yeah yeah no. and but then the Palace is the only Palace where now we can actually yeah, get something from that the first time we got Palace um, it was a P3 uh, long sleeve Oh yeah, and yeah, we took a nail on the uh, flock of trifle. So oh, glad yeah. we didn't get that. Oh, yeah. yeah, because it was back then. It the takes so long yeah. to sell out. Like the P three nowadays, it sells out in like you know probably like under a minute. Yeah. But back then, but, it's, yeah. it didn't sell out for like um six saying? hours, a good six seven hours or something. Yeah, yeah. I you know, I stayed up like all night, like be like please sell out. Like, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, obviously now it's like you know crazy. But Fred A, I actually don't know your surname and how I say your surname, but um, he asked, uh, do you think you prefer Supreme having a bigger following or a smaller following? Um, so for me personally, I do like you know that's how a brand grows. You know, more and more people know Supreme. You know, you can see more people wearing it. But for me personally, I because I don't want to wear something something like you know when I first got into Supreme. I wanted to wear it like you know, kind of like you know, stand out. Like you know, I'm wearing Supreme in it, and you know, not but like, <laughs> like I'm wearing Supreme. But nowadays, people wearing Supreme or like palettes and stuff is kind of common. You see it like you know, everywhere you go, pretty much. So what about you? So I prefer having a smaller following. I think, I think a bigger following because then, oh. if more people follow it, yeah. less. They they will still be around the same amount of stock, mm. but like maybe a little bit more. But there's gonna be way more people getting yeah, into yeah. spring. Oh, okay. So you would stand out more, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. if they have a bigger following mm. and you manage to get the items. Mm. But it's not just because of the hype or anything that I get Supreme on Palace. It's because I actually for the items I keep, I really really like the item, mm. and I'll wear it. And if I trash it or whatever, I wouldn't mind. It's not like something. I would care that I have to keep it like 10 out of 10 all the time because clothes are meant to be for to wear and stuff so if you get it dirty or something even if it's like a bogo or something everyone would be like oh you got that dirty the resale doesn't go down whatever I don't really care since I really like it so yeah <laughs> okay okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you saying? yeah uh, personally I would prefer to have a smaller mm-hmm. following because I want to be like in a stand I don't want to wear people as, as you're saying yeah. but for a channel Obviously, yeah. you want a bigger following yeah. for Supreme, then more people, you know, like, see yeah. our channel and you yeah, watch yeah, us. Yeah. I, okay, yeah, yeah, you get me. I get you, I get you. Yeah. Okay. So, Joe3 Bowden, he asked, how tall are you, Andrew? So, yeah, um, you know, I'm wondering because, you know, I'm pretty short, you know. So, I'm 160 centimetres tall, so 5'3"-ish. Yeah, I'm the shortest of the crew, you know. But yeah, and these two are like 5'9"-ish, I'm guessing. 5'10". 5'10". Nah, you know 5'10". Nah, people always gas up the height, I think it's 5'9". Yeah, 5'9"? Yeah, 5'9". Yeah. 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 Because people will be five. saying, oh, you're 5'11", you're 5'10". No, no, no. And I, I seriously don't know yeah, what height I am. Yeah, so like, the, maybe like people think like these two are humongous because, you know, I'm always like way shorter than both of them. Right. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you know, when they see in person, they're like, oh, yeah, you're kind of shorter than I thought. So, Sham Rocky, uh, who gets the most goals? Uh, 
hey, no, I think Sunny, Sunny gets. No, 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 he asked, do you think Supreme or Palace will die out anytime soon? Oh, he's quite down. So, um, no, I don't think they'll... Well, actually, what I'm thinking is differently, but as a brand, uh, Supreme and Palace, I don't think they'll die out. Um, pe more and more people will be... Uh, rec it will be recognised more about, mm -hmm. for more people. You know, Palace doing collabs soon. Uh, Supreme, obviously, with Louis Vuitton, got like, a really massive like, you know, media you know, attention. And, you know, so I don't think both of them will die out. Um, they'll keep on going for a really long time. But as a brand, like you know, um, I think I don't know. I think people were in it, like more, because more and more people know it. Because when we were into it, like I think me and you, well, us three actually, when we were into it, the hype just like started. Just started, yeah. So um, you know, it was kind of like a good time. You know, like you know, stuff were cheaper and stuff. And yeah, but yeah, they've been playing it so yeah. much with heat, yeah, I, know. With the I know, I know, but um, nowadays I'm not saying it's bad, but like I see a lot of kids like wearing it, and I, I think like it's I think I know the, I get the reason why people like, like kind of flex out, out flex everyone you know at schools and stuff, but I don't think you know it doesn't really matter like what because nowadays when I see people wearing pants and stuff, I kind of don't want to wear their items because you know I don't want to be matching and stuff. I want to kind of stand out, I don't want to be like, you know, oh, I'm wearing Palace, I'm cool or something. But, um, yeah, some people do wear Palace and Supreme just to think that they're cool. Yeah, there's been, to be honest, there's several of my friends that actually just buy Palace just to fit in with everyone else, yeah. and I just keep on telling them there's no point yeah, in like, buying Palace. Yeah, like you have to buy it because you like the yeah, clothing, yeah. and you like the culture behind it. Yeah, for me, like, I used to be like, kind of like that when I first got into it, you know, high beats, you know, you get like, you know, you want to buy Trifles and like Supreme, like Bogus and stuff. But I'm actually moving more into like, you know, kind of like other brands. Like now, now I'm discovering mm. stuff that I actually like for myself. Mm. So yeah, hopefully, you know, I'll still like, you know, buy Supreme and Palace, but just the items I like for myself. I don't care like what the most hyped item is, just my like. Jack Dog Cunliffe, uh, why is it just James that goes to drops alone? So it's because um, Andrew and Sunny, they have uni at Portsmouth. They go uni at Portsmouth, so they can't go to weekly drops because they yeah. have exams, coursework. Mm -hmm. But I'm free most of the time because I'm well I'm working but I have Mondays and Thursdays and sometimes Fridays free for when I go drops because I have to vlog so so that's why it's mostly me going to drops but now these like these couple of drops before you see Andrew and Sunny mm -hmm. more because they finished their exams so they just like come down and vlog with me yeah no not gonna lie it's still effort to like sign up on Monday there, yeah, it's yeah, yeah like twice. You have to, because yeah. some, like most of the times we get it online anyways, mm. like definitely for pilots, like I don't think there's a point for me to get, uh, go, but yeah, so okay. So finally, our last question, this has turned out really long, uh, established type, he asked, so where do you see your channel heading towards in the future? So um, I actually have no idea. What's that, Sunny? Um, basically, obviously, we're going to obviously make better entertainment for you guys to watch, yeah. upgrading our camera soon. Uh, game stabilizer, stabilizer as well. Um, yeah. Obviously, I'm not too sure because me and Andrew are gonna finish uni uh, next year, so yeah. we're second year now. Yeah. Finish uni next year, and I might, I don't know, I might go back to Hong Kong. And yeah. obviously, if I'm in Hong Kong, then we can't do videos together yeah. anymore. And um, so we might have to have change, you know. Yeah. Um, um, expand our team. Yeah. Expand yeah. our team. We're gonna yeah. get more people. But obviously, we we don't want to restrict restrict ourselves to like Supreme and Palace videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Them, like bigger like you know more yeah, we want stuff. to be like a fashion kind of yeah. channel yeah so it's not just a hype supreme yeah. palace vlogs every single week i'm guessing also vlogs on like if there's new drops like alexander wang or louis vuitton or yeah. like, something everything to do with fashion and a little bit of like challenges as well so yeah. like such yeah. as like yours at 30 pound h and challenge yeah. something yeah. like that to make like the channel more interesting yeah. so like maybe like 50 pound vintage shop challenge or whatever yeah yeah but i'm guessing like if you were asking like how the channel will grow uh, we actually don't know. I think you know anything can happen. Really, uh, there's been like a lot of people asking for like kind of like collabs, kind of like kind of Loki like sponsoring them and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. We'll see. We don't actually know like what our end goal is at the moment. We just we're kind of like doing it for fun. But then like you know we could take it seriously as well. And also like a clothing line as well. Yeah. People have been yeah. lots of people. Whenever like nearly every single time when I go on live stream, they ask, oh, when are you putting out clothing and stuff like Magnus or, or like other YouTubers, when are, oh. when are we going to put out clothing? Yeah. And to be honest, we don't know. 
Yeah, we'll put out when we're still taking time to like yeah, we're thinking, yeah, we're clothes. thinking about actually yeah. putting we're not our clothing, but we're not gonna put some cheap idea, yeah. man. We With Daffy, gonna... it's gonna be like some sick clothing, yeah, you guys will actually yeah, wear. I want to wear my own yeah, clothing, yeah, yeah. yeah, rather like, yeah, to take time and plan it all out. Yeah. And, and, and we don't want to make like, like yeah. oh, sorry. Sorry. and we don't want to make like you know, like box logo, like, <laughs> no, no, yeah, I don't want to like copy Supreme, I want to make it like really unique and something that everyone would wear and it'll look nice, either like. Lots of like graphic designs or just a plain simple tee, good quality with like a little embroidered logo, mm-hmm. which we're still thinking of. Yeah, I just want something that is good quality and everyone would wear. Yeah, well, we'll think about it. And maybe not even like way. lots of people that are into streetwear can still wear the yeah. art clothing, kind of general. Yeah, yeah. a bit more general. Yeah. But that's we might, be... yeah, we might put out kind of different kind of types of clothing, so we might have a more general kind of a little mm-hmm. kind of tr- collection and then we might put out like, other collections which are more maybe hype based or something but we haven't whoa, thought whoa, about whoa. <laughs> I whoa. don't know I'm just making up ideas whoa. but you go yeah. very deep very but deep like, deep. it's going to take us like probably a whole summer to yeah. come up with yes. like, some little yeah. design yeah. you know sometimes we just have yeah. like some like ideas in it because none of us are like expert on like yeah. design we're still all learning like, man. we're still all learning we don't know yeah. how to yeah. make like clothes or anything. yeah we're pretty beat yeah. at this right now man. Yeah. Like, but yeah Um. so yeah we finally also like you know like quite a lot of questions uh, mm-hmm. we would answer more but you know this video would be bare long so yeah I think that's about it and yeah thanks for watching if you went this far and <laughs> thank I'll, you for 10k um, 10k yeah 10k, 10K. Yeah. we have 10k we're at 8k right now I don't know we're at 8k but I, I can't actually this is the way right now is um, June start of June so we'll see when we hit, hit 10k and when this video releases but yeah we'll see you in a bit say peace